Hi, and welcome to Athena Insights. My name's Linda Murray. I'm the founder, speaker, trainer, and executive coach of Athena Coaching and Athena Leadership Academy. Do you find that at different stages in the year, you start to feel a little bit bored by your job, a bit demotivated, agitated, frustrated, even exhausted? Chances are you could be suffering from burnout. Burnout can happen at any stage in your career, and some days you might feel like you're just treading water to stay afloat, but without really achieving anything positive. You might find your energy levels dwindling, and yet you have to keep sprinting to get stuff done. And then there are those times when, despite your efforts, you don't feel like you're making a real difference at all, and your confidence is running at an all-time low. So how can you avoid burnout while remaining fully engaged and energised? How can you ensure that you're working at your full capacity, but doing so in a way that's actually really sustainable? Here are a few simple changes that you can make to get back into your game and be at your peak performance again. Design your days to maximise your energy. See, the human body was not designed to go flat out all the time without breaks. This would be like expecting to sprint a marathon. That's just not going to happen. So think about a Formula One race. The winner isn't the driver who drives the fastest for the longest time without stopping and hoping to make it to the end without running out of fuel or burning out a tyre. Sure, to win a Formula One race, you need to drive fast. But it's also about taking those strategically timed pit stops around the way to keep the car and the driver performing optimally. We're exactly the same. So structure your day with deliberate and pre-planned pit stops. Don't book a day of back-to-back -back meetings without a break. We've all made that mistake. You feel terrible by the end of the day and your reward for your hard work? A huge list of actions from all those meetings which still needs to get done. Plan your day in a series of 90-minute blocks with pit stop breaks to recharge your energy at the end of each block. Say no to constant demands. It's sometimes hard to say no to those who constantly turn to you for help, isn't it? But sometimes it's necessary to say no in order to get through your day and to also save your sanity. While it feels good to be needed, sometimes the result can feel us leaving stretched in all directions and our overall health and work performance can really suffer. We've all had the advice to set boundaries and decline meeting requests and keep to time so that you can get your own jobs and projects done. But that's often easier said than done, right? So asking yourself questions before you agree to take something on, like, if I say yes to this task, what am I actually saying no to? That could be your own work, it could be family time, that yoga session that you were hoping to get to after work. Also ask, am I really the best person for this task or am I just the easiest person to ask? And how will taking on this task impact my workflow? And what's the time frame if I take this on? So often we make the assumption that someone else's task needs to jump to the top of our to-do list. Always be sure that you ask the time expectation before you say yes to someone else's task. So before you immediately respond with, sure, I can do that for you, buy yourself some time to actually think it through. It's important to be realistic about how much you can fit into your day and allow quiet times for acknowledgement and recognising your own achievement. This will help keep you really motivated. It would be really harsh of someone to think poorly of you if you were to say, can I get back to you in half an hour? Well, I just make sure I've got my capacity sorted and my priorities are in order. Add some fun into your workday. When was the last time that you really let your hair down at work? And no, I don't mean drinking too many champagnes at the Christmas party. I mean just catching your breath and having a laugh while you're at work. It's okay to pause and enjoy a bit of fun, even over morning or afternoon tea. Working hard from first thing in the morning into the evening, especially without a break, won't do you any favours. Chances are, if you're feeling like you're reaching a burnout point, then others around you might be feeling the same. So especially if you're a leader, 
take that lead, grab some coffees or treats and take the opportunity to pause at work, at least for a moment. Grab your team and use this break as a chance to have a laugh together, get to know one another better and celebrate your team's achievements. Delegate to those around you. No one said that being a leader is without its challenges. And thankfully, you've got a team around you who can help ease that workload, especially during those really busy times. You might find that others will be only too happy to learn new skills and stretch their knowledge to reduce your burden. When delegating, give people the context or the purpose so that they really understand why you need a task done. Also, give them clear expectations about the outputs and timeframes that you expect. Then just let them get on with it. I know that sounds a bit scary, but it's a great way to build capability in your team. And who knows, they might even come up with a better way of doing it than you do. No one likes a micromanager. If they make a mistake, they can correct it. So create a team culture that mistakes are opportunities for them to learn. Take a rest day or two. Even if a holiday is off the cards at the moment, taking a day or two of quiet time at home can work wonders and help you really revitalise your body and your mind. At least quarterly, schedule to take a Friday and a Monday off to make it a four-day weekend and spend that time really focusing on yourself and your needs. When was the last time you did nothing except rest? There's also loads of fantastic health retreats that you can escape to, which guarantees you'll return home healthy and rested, both physically and mentally. And for those of you like me who find it really hard to detach from technology, find a retreat that's out of mobile range. That way you're guaranteed to return digitally detoxed as well. For most people, it's way too long between breaks and your health is important and time out will allow you to see things from a new, fresh perspective. Make that time now, before you start to feel the effects of stress and pressure. By then, it's going to take way more than a day or two to recover from all your hard efforts at work. As they say on aeroplanes, fit your own oxygen mask before that of your child. In order to be of service to others, you really need to ensure that you're looking after yourself first, so that you can support them. If taking a Friday or a Monday off work isn't achievable, take a day or two to work from home. With so much technology and the ability to connect anywhere, anyone can do that. Working from home means less interruptions and zero time lost in commuting. So use that time to take it easy in the morning or get some exercise before you launch into your workday. Focus your awareness to avoid burnout. Rest and recovery are absolutely essential for you to perform at your best. A mental shift needs to occur to stop the risk of burnout from happening to you. Head over to the Athena Coaching website and read my white paper on peak performance. It's a quick read and you'll learn how to work in alignment with your body's natural rhythms to maximise your productivity, your engagement and your energy. In other words, how to do more, do it better, and do it more sustainably. So don't wait till the day you realise that you have nothing left in the tank for work or for your personal life or yourself. Burnout is a terrible place to get to and it takes a long time to bounce back. I never want you to arrive at that feeling. While you may feel that your energy is in short supply, that won't always be the case. Similarly, you might be enjoying an abundance of energy And unless you're very deliberate with how you use that energy and renew it, even that won't always be the case. Sustainable peak performance is something anyone can enjoy. You just need to implement some easy strategies to achieve it. If you're feeling flat or worn out, know that overextending yourself is nothing to be embarrassed about. And pretending it isn't happening is actually the worst thing you can do. Never feel embarrassed to ask others for help. If you take these easy steps to avoid burnout, you'll quickly find yourself re-energised and your confidence and enthusiasm will return in no time at all. And don't forget to read that peak performance white paper. It's a quick read and it's never too late to realise the success that you have within you. 
Do you have a topic that you'd love to hear more about? Post it in the comments below and be sure to stay in touch and subscribe to Athena Insights now. Until next time, here's to your success.